गोवन वार्ता लाइव या यूट्यूब चैनल ला सब्सक्राइब करा और बेल आयकॉन दाबन लेटेस्ट वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन मिलवा रेलवे दुपदरीकरणा विरोधात भाजप आमदार एलिना सालढाणा यांनी सरकारला घरचा आहेर दिलाय महत्त्वाचं म्हणजे त्यांनी दुपदरीकरण तातडीनं थांबवण्यासाठी सरकारनं पावलं उचलली पाहिजे असंही म्हटलंय भाजप आमदारांनीच केलेल्या या मागणीमुळे रेल्वे दुपदरीकरणाचा विषय अधिवेशनाच्या अखेरच्या दिवशी गाजला नेमकं एलिना सालढाणा काय म्हणाल्यात पाहूयात सविस्तर स्पीकर सर आय राईज टू स्पीक on the resolution moved by the honorable mla vijay sardesai speaker sir it is indeed very painful that today in spite of the issue of doubling of the south western railway track rocking the state due to agitations practically throughout the state hardly any mlas have made the time to visit the existing south western railway track through the villages of south goa and through the villages of kortaling constituency in particular speaker sir speaker sir if one visit vi visits the existing track you will realize the misery that is faced by the residents of the houses along the south western railway alignment it is pathetic speaker sir first and foremost there is continuous noise pollution and coal dust pollution coal dust pollution speaker sir is a fact which can be proved just by touching the leaves of the trees or passing your hand over the windows of the houses you get the dust on your hand speaker sir the houses along the present railway south western railway realignment have developed cracks cracks not just on the walls of the houses but cracks also on the floor of the houses due to intense vibrations caused by the moving trains day in day out speaker sir it is hurting that in spite of passage of time no infrastructure has been provided to the residents of the houses along the railway uh, uh, south western railway alignment to cross the track just to give an example speaker sir i had related this example to the honorable chief minister and i would like to repeat this example on the floor of this august house last sunday i visited the village of welsau because i needed to visit a friend of mine who has just lost her husband and so from through the market of the village of welsau we, i just tried to cross the railway track and as i put my foot on the railway track i realized that i could not move because the track on either side was covered with what you call khadi and i could not move because the khadi was going downwards so i was worried i did not know what i'm supposed to do because i did not want to fall and so i bent down and i caught the ground i removed the shoes and i held them in my hand and i slowly got up thinking that i will be able to now cross the track but to my horror i could not cross the track because the khadi was still moving and i was desperate thinking what will i do if a train comes by because it was quite late in the evening it was around 7 o'clock in the evening fortunately for me two ladies from one of the houses just across the tracks 
They saw me and they came running to me. They said, bye bye, alonaka, portili, amieta. And they came, they gave me a hand, and with their assistance, I was able to cross the track. And then they told me, bye, tu noko, kitlo lok, sor korun zanto lok, anga pollolo asa, temche paye molla, temche at molla. Speaker, sir, this has been going on for years and years without a thought for these people. Another point that makes me very happy is the statement made by the government. That the government has stated very clearly that the quantum of coal to be transported is to be reduced by 50%. Now, if this is true, and given the fact that the present track is being underused as far as connectivity is concerned, I can very definitely say that the second track is redundant. Speaker, sir, if the second track is not needed for connectivity and we can increase the number of trains on the existing track, why are we doubling? Why do we want to be responsible for the misery that will, further misery that will be wrought upon the lives of the residents of these houses? Speaker, sir, I would like to just give one example of what can happen and may happen. If you look at the village of Pali, there are about 55 to 60 houses in a row, one after the other. And just behind these houses is the hill. And the existing track is on this hill. Now, the second track to be laid is on the side of the houses. Okay? Because on the other side, there is a drop. Now, again, if you are going to lay the second track in this stretch, then the level of the ground will have to be raised on par with the hill. That means there will be the hill coming even closer to these existing houses. What if any derailment happens? What will be the plight of the residents of these houses? Speaker, sir. As members of the government, I think it is our responsibility to ensure the security of the people. After all, Speaker Sir, ours is a democratic government, a government that is of the people, for the people, and by the people. People, Speaker Sir, are supreme. And therefore, it is the duty, bounden duty of the government to protect the lives of the people. The same situation lies in the villages of my constituency. When the first track was laid, Speaker Sir, the ground level was raised. And therefore, you will find that the houses on either side of the track are at a much lower level. Now, to lay the second track, the ground will have to be raised. In other words, we will be literally bringing a wall on the face of these houses because the second track, as per what was seen by us when we went on site, the track will be hardly five to six meters away from the doorsteps of these houses. Speaker, sir, is this living? Is this why we strive all our lives to give happy and safe life to our families. I think the goal of every man of the family is to provide a safe, and a safe house and a house in a clean environment. Speaker, sir, due to coal dust pollution and noise pollution, there are cases of pulmonary disorders. Speaker, sir, I don't know how many of you saw this on the TV 
it was shown maybe two to three months ago where a small child from Vasco is suffering from acute lung problem. Why? Because there is a layer of coal dust deposited on his lung. We don't know how many cases, such cases are there and how many more will be there should the South Western Railway track be doubled. Speaker, sir, there is so much that one can speak on this issue because everywhere you go, you find that things will not be right. Vibrations in the night. What about the noise pollution? Speaker, sir, presently, the hooting of the train goes on throughout the night. The residents of the houses cannot sleep in peace. What will happen if the second track is laid and moves still closer to these houses and more trains plying on the tracks? Speaker, sir, these are our very own brothers and sisters. These are the very people who have voted us and elected us to serve them. I appeal to, the, to my government to stop this project, cancel this project once and for all, not for any other reason, but for the welfare, the safety, and the happiness of the people. Because, sir, if you go just across the railway track in the village of Again, well sound. You can see about eight houses in a row. Behind these houses, there are 100 houses. All the residents of these houses have to cross the track to go to basic infrastructure. The South Western Railway Authority wants to lay the second track. When we ask the South Western Railway Authority to prove their ownership, over the land on either side of the existing track. They were frank enough to say that they have no documents. They have no ownership documents. Of course, they will say we are going to acquire the land. But then, can you acquire land to the total detriment of the land owners? Because it is the ancestors of these very same land owners that gave the land the first time around. Speaker, sir, let us appeal to our better sense, let us drop this project for the sake of Goa. And I have no doubt that my government that has done so much for the people of Goa, both North Goa and South Goa, will definitely pay heed to the plea of the people and stop this doubling and thereby be hero worshipped.